Hello, my name is Gia Graham and I'm a full-time illustrator and hand lettering artist. When I share drawing videos on Instagram, I often get questions about my process. So I figured I'd answer a couple of those questions here while I work on a new sketch. This particular question was recently sent in by one of my email newsletter subscribers who wrote, I don't think I understand why to sketch using a pencil brush. Would you mind explaining why? It seems like you could accomplish more by just using an inking brush directly. Well, every artist is different and each person's process often depends on the kind of art they create, the medium they use and their personal preferences. Of course, what works for one person might not work for another, but I'll explain what works for me and why. I always start a piece with a pencil sketch. Now, of course, I work digitally, so I'm using a pencil brush in Procreate. By the way, what I've done here is loosely place my skeleton letters, and then I'm just going to slowly build out each letter form, figuring out the style as I go. I used to use the HB pencil brush, but a couple years ago, I switched to this 6B pencil brush. And also, since I work on pretty large files, I duplicated the standard 6B pencil, which comes with Procreate, and I made an extra large version. And in case you're wondering how that's done, it's actually quite easy and I'll show you really quickly here. In Procreate, just find the brush you want, highlight it, swipe left, and then tap duplicate. Tap the duplicated version to open up the Brush Studio. Go to Properties and under Brush Behavior, move the maximum size slider to the right to increase the brush size to however large you want it. And that's it. I usually then just go to About This Brush and change the name so I don't mix it up with the original version. Okay, so now look at the difference that made. This canvas size is 5,000 pixels square at 300 DPI, which is a pretty large file. And with this standard 6B pencil, you can see even at 100%, the lines are still fairly fine. But now this is what the extra large version of the 6B pencil looks like. I can get nice large lines and I can cover a lot of area quickly. And it feels more like drawing with a soft lead. Now, to the question of why I use this brush. When I'm creating artwork, the sketching process is when I do 90% of the thinking and planning. This is a time for me to experiment, play around with the composition, solidify my ideas. If the piece I'm working on includes lettering, this is also the stage where I figure out how I'm going to style the letter forms and I figure out what the layout is going to look like. During the sketching stage, I like to stay really loose and flexible, and I personally find it much easier to do that if I'm sketching in pencil. Okay, so let's just compare, for example. I usually ink with the monoline brush because I like the nice clean lines it creates, but as you can see, it's harder to create those loose, fluid, sketchy lines with that brush. And maybe it's just a mental thing, but sketching with a softer pencil also makes the process feel less precious to me. So it frees me up to let the ideas flow without being too concerned about making it perfect. You know, sketching with pencil is a low pressure and low commitment. Here I'm just adding these smaller flowers in somewhat random places to balance out the two big flowers that are anchored by the lettering. As I add leaves and other elements to fill in the gaps, I might go back in and move things around until the composition feels right. The other reason I prefer to sketch with a pencil brush specifically is because I can get a nice range of strokes. I can make light strokes or apply more pressure for deep dark marks. And I haven't found an inking brush that provides that range of flexibility. 
One of the inking brushes I really like to use is the dry ink brush when I'm finalizing a piece. And it has similar qualities to the HB pencil in some ways, but it's meant to mimic ink. So it makes very dense, opaque marks. And it doesn't give the same flexibility with shading and grayscale. Although the dry ink brush does allow for nice loose sketching, I personally prefer having the ability to adjust the density of my strokes as I need to. So again, the pencil brush just wins out for me every time when it comes to the sketching process. And lastly, the final reason why I like to sketch in pencil first before I move on to inking is because when I create artwork for clients, 99% of the time, they'll want to see a sketch for approval before moving on to final inking. So over the years, I've just developed the habit of creating fairly tight pencil sketches before I finalize a piece in ink. And the last benefit I'll mention is that taking the time to work on a pencil sketch first really helps the inking process move much faster. And I can ink with more confidence because I've already done most of the hard work. So when I'm finalizing a piece, I basically go into autopilot. And that's it, fairly straightforward. I hope you found that insightful. And if you have any other questions about my process that you'd like me to answer, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this helpful, I'd also love it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.